Hey guys, it's Roshi. So sorry I haven't posted in like a week, but um, I wanted to make this video to talk about my birth story. Um, I did get induced, and so I want to talk a little bit about that because I had watched a lot of um, birth stories, but there wasn't a lot about um, getting induced, so I didn't really know too much of what to expect. So just so you guys have a little bit of reference, this is kind of my experience also disclaimer this is just my experience so maybe it's different for other people I don't know but this is what happened when I got induced so it was August 22nd um, it was a Thursday so I got induced that day um, basically I had a so I had gestational diabetes and um, they had told me that I needed to get induced they wouldn't let me go past that 39 week mark um, so I needed to get induced uh, before going past that um, and so I went in for a doctor's appointment at 38 weeks I was still 38 weeks um, and it was the day before I got induced so I went into my doctor's appointment and we talked about um, when I should get induced and the doctor said well you can get induced as soon as tomorrow if you want um, if they're available so she checked with um, the because the so where my doctor was <laughs> it's funny so it's a medical clinic but then they deliver at the actual hospital so she had to check with the actual hospital and she's still like one of the doctors that would deliver but she was not the doctor that delivered my baby anyways so um, yeah she was going to be on schedule the next day um, but because they work in a rotation she told me that um, she might not be the doctor to actually deliver my baby which was actually what happened so anyways um, we left the appointment and she told me that she was gonna call and let me know if we could come in the next day um, I got a call at um, so our appointment was like 8 in the morning um, we went back home and I got a call around 4 in the afternoon and they said yes you can come in tomorrow check in at 8 o'clock in the morning and we will get you all set up so um, I had to call actually, uh, they said like an hour ahead of time just to make sure that everything was still like go. And so I called at 7 in the morning the next day and um, they were like, yeah, like come in, we're ready for you. So uh, we grabbed my hospital bag, everything was already packed. My husband grabbed like just a little mini bag for himself and we had the car seat and everything ready to go in the car. Um, so we went, at, we went to the hospital, checked in, um, I put on the hospital gown and they started me with um, what is called what what they called a miso pill um, and it was just like this it looked like a tiny little round pill and it was like half of it but basically that is what helped start my like it was going to help start contractions just like to start things moving so I didn't just go in there and they started me on like Pitocin right away or anything like that um, so anyways they gave me that and I didn't feel contractions or anything um, and they gave me it every four hours and the funny thing is every four hours um, we actually had a nurse change as well so we had let's see we had our first nurse who was there for like just a little bit then we had another nurse who gave me my second dose and then we had another nurse who gave me my third dose and then the last nurse she was actually with me the entire like night um so so my contractions like so yeah every four hours I was getting this like little tiny miso pill and then um I wasn't really feeling anything until about I want to say ooh, it was like 10 or 11 o'clock at night time so it was it was pretty late I didn't feel anything the entire day until then so 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock is when I started feeling contractions and um yeah I mean it was really funny because in my mind I don't know what exactly I was expecting but I think I expected it to go a lot more faster like I thought that I was gonna have contractions like a lot sooner than I did um, but yeah from 8 o'clock till like 10 we were just my husband and I were just hanging out um, we were watching TV I was just kind of laying in bed and then we walked around a little bit and I mean then my family um, well my family and then my my in-laws actually came to visit as well my mother-in-law came to visit and um, it was funny because she so my mother-in-law is a nurse and uh, she's been a nurse for a really long time and so she knows how to read 
the, the little thingies, everything, like, she just knows hospital lingo, everything, and I, I would just go for medical assisting a while back, but I don't remember anything. Anyway, so she, um, had seen that I had some high blood pressure, um, at nighttime, and she was kind of a little concerned about that, and, but I didn't say anything, um, and neither did she, we were just like, okay, like, if they, uh, no, she did, so, so they, she did see that I had, like, some high blood pressure, so she, I think she had said something to the nurse about that, but then they were like, oh, no, it's okay, um, so then I was, so yeah, so 10 o'clock, I started having contractions, um, and my family was there, um, and it was really, like, it wasn't anything painful, it was just kind of like, oh, like, I feel something that's a little, like, uncomfortable, but it's not, like, painful, and then while my family was still, um, there, my mother-in-law had left, um, but my family was still there, and I went to use the restroom, and oh my gosh, um, so, yeah, I went to go, like, pregnant women, we pee a lot, so, um, yeah, I went to go use the restroom, and I kind of, like, pushed just to like get like the last couple drops out I know TMI but I pushed to get the last couple of drops out and then I wiped and then I got up and when I got up I felt a pop like it was just kind of like a and then water just started gushing down like literally like non-stop just gush 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 and I was like oh my gosh like my water just broke this is the craziest feeling like I was actually really grateful for it because I was like like this is just part of the experience and it feels like cool to just experience that so I like opened the door and I peeked out and I was like hey guys my water just broke I don't know what this means uh, am I having the baby now like what's happening so um, yeah my husband went he, and he rushed to get the nurse and <laughs> and then she came in and she was like oh okay great you know and then I think that's when she checked me and I was four centimeters dilated I think and um, she was like no you're not having the baby <laughs> yet um, and then the doctor came in as well and she ch I think she had checked as well and she was like oh there's still like another bag of water like that's gonna break and I was like what like I have two bags of water like I've never heard of that that's really weird so anyways then my family left so it just me and my husband and um, I'm like I'm like starting to really feel the contractions and it is nothing like I've ever felt in my life like it got to the point where it's so painful like I, I don't even know it feels like there's someone like squeezing your inside like it's just really really bad period cramps and I don't get period cramps so to feel that sort of pain was just like oh boy like it was like times like probably a period cramp times like a thousand like it was just crazy crazy pain um, and I know that it's different for everyone like some people just don't even feel pain but I felt it like my contractions were so gnarly like oh whew, just thinking about it like brings it back but anyways I thought I could go without an epidural and I was I told everyone I was like I'm gonna go as long as I can without an epidural if I really need it then I'll get it so these contractions started to happen and they were so painful that I was like, I want an epidural. So um, luckily it wasn't like that busy, I guess. Like there there was some like C-sections happening, but like they had just came in or something. And so yeah, the doctor w or the nurse was like, oh, if you want an epidural, just get it right now because he's going to end up getting busy later on. And so I was like, okay. And so the guy came in and you could just tell he was like prepared like he was very like zoned in on like just getting the epidural done and um so yeah my contractions were so bad i'm like crying like it's just so painful at that point and so what they do is um like i my husband was sitting in front of me like so i went to the like side of the bed like the edge of the bed and then my husband's sitting like in front of me so we're face to face and he's kind of like hunched over so that i can like grab him and like kind of hunch over on him and so um he's the guy the anesthesiologist or like the epidural guy is working in, on the back um and he's like he's like putting the drape and like doing all of his stuff 
and then um, I'm still having contractions at, like while this is going on and so I'm hunched over I'm in pain and I'm really scared like honestly I was more scared about the epidural than I was to actually like give birth to a baby I don't know what it is like when I was in medical assistant school like we used to give each other um, two injections and one blood draw so it was like every single day I had like a needle in me um, but there was something about having a needle in my back and it being such a large needle like I don't know what it was but I was just like this is gonna be so painful and I am not ready for this so anyways having my husband in front of me I think really did help like it was just like that physical like support um, and so anyways then they counted down like he told me when he was gonna put the needle in when everything was gonna happen what it was gonna feel like like they say that it kind of feels like a bee sting and I've never been stung by a bee so I didn't really know what it feels like and so anyways I have a contraction and while I'm having the contraction is when they um they he did the epidural so I like it it is painful I'm not gonna lie like it hurt but it was so temporary that I was like it, it just happened like it I'm happy that it happened because afterwards I felt so much relief and I'm so happy that I got an epidural because I couldn't stand the pain I'm sorry like I'm a weenie I had to get the epidural and that's just what worked for me um but yeah so afterwards um I kind of laid down and it, you can't be on your back so I was on my side and the nurse was coming in almost every hour or every couple hours I can't remember um to move me to my other side so that was happening throughout the throughout the night and um, then I think there was like a shift change around 7.30 or something and so I loved our nurse at night time she was great and then she um, oh and also while I was getting turned to my sides one thing that does happen especially when you're pregnant is you are gassy and so when she was like turning me like you know it gas just comes out and it's a natural thing and it happens so if that does happen to you don't worry like the nurses are really professional and you know my nurse was just like it happens all the time like don't even worry about it like you know so yeah I was just turning um, on my sides like every every hour or every couple hours or something and then the shift change happened at 730 and we had two nurses come in so there was one nurse um, and she just looked like she was business like she just looked like she was a seasoned nurse and she just knew so much and then she was training I think um, this resident nurse so or this new nurse and so she came in and I was really happy like I was like whoa like this lady like looks like she knows like a lot about nursing um, and just about things in general so she came in and she was with the other girl and then I kind of hear them like whisper off to the side and I'm like hmm like what is going on like why are they whispering is everything okay so I kind of look at my husband and I'm like okay um, and they mentioned that I have really high blood pressure so I think it's called preeclampsia um, and so then she checks me and I'm 10 centimeters dilated like I'm like ready to go And so she's like we're gonna do some practice pushes like we're gonna like get you ready and everything So at that point like I start to shake like I've never like like I'm just like Like I'm shaking and I don't know if it was just the adrenaline like hearing that I'm about to have a baby or what it was But I just started like kind of feeling a little cold and um, I just started shaking like uncontrollably and my teeth are chattering and I'm looking over at my husband I'm trying not to cry like I'm looking to the side like it's a very emotional moment and like that adrenaline is just like kick-started and it's just oh gosh like it was it was nothing like I've ever felt before and so then um anyways so then um yeah they they come around to like where my legs are they kind of like spread my legs to the little oh god I can't remember what they're called but anyways my legs are like this and um, my husband is actually on one side because they're like, hey, can you help us? And so they start to just kind of like go through practice pushes and I guess they start to see the baby like kind of coming out. And they're like, oh, we need to get the doctor because this baby's about to come out. So the doctor like comes in and she takes a look and she's like, I'm gonna go get ready because your baby's coming out. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so then 
like even more like adrenaline <laughs> like I'm just like oh my gosh like this is actually happening I'm getting emotional and so then the doctor comes and as the doctor comes then like 10 nurses come into the room and I guess they were like training or something and so I have like a whole watch party like like watching me give birth and I'm just like this is like it's fine it didn't bug me but I'm just like wow like there's a lot of people here um so then um literally like then the doctor starts like telling me to push they're counting to 10 and at 10 I'm pushing and um so it's not like in the movies where you hear well for me it wasn't like that especially because I had an epidural so I didn't really feel like I felt the push but I didn't feel the pain um so when I was pushing I like they told me not to make noise when I push because I guess that exhausts you and so I was just kind of like like you know like just kind of pushing without making noise um and so then uh, while I'm pushing and everything then they're like okay like there's the head and so they grab my hand and they're like yeah like feel feel your baby's head and at that point I'm just like getting even more emotional and even more like oh my gosh this is getting real so then um yeah then I start to push more and more and more and like his head I guess pops out and he has the cord wrapped around his neck twice so he has the cord wrapped around his neck twice um, and on top of that his hand is like positioned in a way where they don't know if it's the right or the left and so this doctor oh my gosh she is amazing like the absolute like we still brag about her because she was so cool calm and collected like she literally like took the cord off calmly, maneuvered his hand out a certain way, and Maze just shot right out. Like, I don't, I don't know. When I heard that he had his, like, like the cord wrapped around him, I like started to panic a little bit. But then she was just like, okay, like we're gonna do this. We're gonna do, like, she was just so calm. And so I really do recommend that like, if you know oh and this was a different doctor i had seen her for a checkup but she was not the doctor that had booked the appointment like they had switched the shift so it was a different doctor that had came in and i knew who she was because i had one appointment with her but i only had one appointment with her so um yeah that was it but i knew that i liked her because like even in the appointment she was really cool she was really calm and she just like was business like she knew how to get things done so I really liked her and um she was just a really nice doctor too so um yeah I do recommend that you have somebody who you feel very comfortable with because in a moment like that when you're panicking like it's nice to have someone comfort you and also just be really cool and calm and collected like just to get things done and and know that there's there's yes there's a problem but it's gonna get done in a very um professional way and she she was just so great like I, I don't know what else to say about her like she was just great so anyways um Maze comes out they put him on my chest and these other like more doctors come rushing in or more nurses come rushing in and there's a nurse that's like cleaning him off and I had a delayed cord cut so um cord cutting so uh he was just kind of on me and then they like squirted him with some water like cleared his airways he cried and he had the cutest little eagle, eagle cry like it was like eh! like i don't know it was just so cute anyways um so yeah that happened and then he was just on me for a little while they asked brooks if he wanted to cut the cord he did not want to i think he had seen enough <laughs> <laughs> and so um yeah then they cut the cord and after a little while then they like took him from me to like get him like cleaned up and um just like weigh him and do all of like anything that they needed to do um measure him and all of that so yeah after a little while then they pushed us over to delivery um uh, or or to put the postpartum area and um when that happened then they were just checking on me and checking on the baby um they were kind of going through like how to breastfeed and like all this stuff was happening afterwards where it's it really is kind of a blur to me but I clearly remember just like being on the table and pushing Maze out and having him on my chest I that was just like the most memorable time for me but I look crazy. <laughs> I look so swollen. Oh my god. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> We're going for induction. Baby's coming today. 
or tomorrow. We'll see. But do it. it's happening. Hmm? It's one way to do it. Do what? I have a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have to because I have the gestation on their face. Anyways, bye. <sighs> We're in the hospital. Yes, we are. She took some medicine. I took the miso pill that's supposed to help with contractions, I think, before you take Pitocin. And I'm just sitting here. We're watching Friends, and we're, we just ordered food. So, this is great quality. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey. Do you see his little bed that he's gonna be in? It's a pull out. Oh, I was talking about the babies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have another cot too. I also have that one, yeah. Here we are. Glad free we. Are you excited? Yeah. Might take a couple days, they said. <laughs> so we're just waiting around. Might take a week. No. <laughs> no, they'll probably do C section before it comes to that point. Oh, God. <laughs> just ordered lunch the service has been great um, she gets free food but I'm supposed to pay for the food but the server downstairs has been really nice and keeps like making an excuse for us to not have me pay for my own food so um, yeah shout out to the cafeteria um, she's got this big water jug and they got nice crushed ice and water. We can go refill at any time. Um, she took one of the miso pills um, earlier, and she can take like up to six in 24 hours. So hopefully they start to kind of help her as she goes, um, and then down the line, uh, the pitocin. But we got a ways till then, so. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll keep it focused on your head. <laughs> huh? I said I'll keep it focused on your head. Oh, yeah. Is everything wide open? What was that? We've been listening for babies. We didn't hear any yet. Well, Roshi said she might have. I heard one. I feel like I heard one. Uh, all but right. I don't know. I could just be hearing things. And I'm going to shut up now because her butt is <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> all right, update. I've been here for quite a while now. What time is it? It's now 4 o'clock. Um, been here since 8 a.m. And she is uh, on the second round of the pill right now. And uh, third one's coming up shortly. So. See what happens. All right, so after a lot of hard work, he has arrived. This is baby maze. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to open his eyes. <laughs> Good job.
job, baby. Oh. No Ooh. funky. <laughs> He's like, I didn't like that, but... Yeah, first bath time. <laughs> and Mama's eating. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally eating. <laughs> She's hungry. <laughs> And then just feeding the baby at the whole time. Hey. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, sugar. Okay. Yeah. Let's just clean it off, okay? See if there's anything <laughs> there. First comb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, it's really clean. He looks so handsome. <laughs> he does. He's very <laughs> handsome. Yeah, he's a beautiful baby. <laughs> huh? okay, yeah, they sugar. got him pretty clean pretty yeah. quick when he came out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You got a little part in your hair. <laughs> so when we get home, should we wait a couple of days before we bathe him? Or? You can bathe him, okay. and you know, once a day if you want. Some people, you know, prefer to do it every other day or whatever. But one thing I can tell you: if you do a bath before they go to sleep. They seem to sleep longer yeah. at mm -hmm. night. At night. Okay. Yeah. But you know, during the day, if he's dirty or something, yeah. you mess up his pants and you want to give him a shower or a bath, uh -huh. do. You know, just stick them under the sink and do uh -huh. whatever you want. Or, you know, your baby bath, stick them uh -huh. in there. You know, they mess up anyway all day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've just been taking care of my grandbaby. Gracie, you like the kitty? You like the kitty? You like the baby? Oh, I see you like the baby? <laughs> you like the baby? Who is that? What is she doing when she saw the baby? She's just looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> Did she lick him? Mama. <laughs> Oh, when she first saw him, yeah, she kissed him. Mm. She like gave him three little baby licks on the cheek. Poor little scratchy. It's pretty what they're all like. They're like, why is he scratched up? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>